The third gift of Christmas that I get from the Christmas story, reading it in the book of Luke, is that we don't have to worry about being defined by our circumstances. Jesus was born in a manger and he was surrounded by animals. His parents were ordinary people. And I'm just gonna read a little line from Luke chapter two from the message. She wrapped him in blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hostel. I love this piece of the story that Jesus, the king of the world, was born in a manger. Such a humble beginning. Jesus, king of the war world, was born to regular parents, not kings and queens. And his beginnings were so humble and his surroundings were so humble. And I love the picture that God paints with this piece of the story. I think it is such a loud message to us as ordinary people that we are not defined by our circumstances or our surroundings. And that we shouldn't allow our surroundings or our circumstances to hold us back from the work that God is calling us to do. It's really easy to, to hear God maybe calling you to something and then for you to look around, maybe your home, maybe your educational background, maybe your bank account, maybe mistakes that you've made in the past. It's really easy to look at all of those things and think, I can't do what God's asking me to do because of X, Y, Z. But if we allow God to work in our lives and um, just follow his lead, essentially, he can do amazing things no matter our circumstances. And when we do, I wrote this down, so I'm just going to read it because I, I like the way that I positioned the words, but... When we do extraordinary things uh, with God from ordinary places, it glorifies God and it makes the world look and think and it makes other people feel inspired that they can do the work of God and it doesn't matter about their circumstances. It doesn't matter if their life is imperfect. God can still use them. And so I love that Jesus was born in a manger the king of the world, the savior of the world, was born amongst animals in a manger. And so we can trust the gift that we can take away from this, the comfort that we can take away from this, the tidings of comfort and joy that we can take away from this is that God can use us, God will use us, and we will glorify God through our walk no matter our circumstances. So that's the third gift. I hope that brings you uh, tidings of comfort and joy. Merry Christmas.